Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to use the automatic repair utility that is included in your Windows 10 operating system to help resolve common and maybe not so common issues that you would be experiencing with your computer. So this should be a fairly quick tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the star menu and you want to hold down the shift key by left clicking on the shift key on your keyboard while left clicking on the power button, so right above the start menu, and then you want to left click on restart while holding down the shift key on your keyboard. So I'm still holding down the shift key on my keyboard, you just obviously can't see that when you're watching this video. So underneath choose an option, and you know what, I should also note that if you're only able to get to the login screen, so like it's prompt you to insert your computer password, you can do the same thing I just did when we were logged into the computer. Again, you would just left click on the little power icon button down here. And then while you click on restart with your mouse, you would also be holding down the shift key on your keyboard. And you would also get to this screen as well. So for choose an option, you want to left click on this troubleshoot tile, which should say reset your PC or see advanced options. So you want to left click on that. Now there's quite a few options that this utility has in store for us if we wanted to explore different options. The first one that we're prompted with is to reset our PC, which will let you choose to keep or remove personal files and then would reinstall Windows. And then there's a further option to see more options, which is advanced options. So left click on that. And we have a whole slew of different options we can explore. So the first one I would actually recommend would be to go into the system restore tile, which would use a restore point recorder on your PC to restore Windows. You want to left click on that. And now I do not have any restore points saved on my computer, so we're going to obviously receive that when this loads. But I just want to walk you guys through and visualize the process for you, what you would be experiencing on your end. and you have to insert your account name and then password so I'm gonna type that in right here and like I said I don't have any restore points on my computer but if you did there would be a list right here right where I'm using my mouse and it would tell you the date that the restore point was taken it would tell you if there was any information about what was occurring when you created the restore point if it was an automated or manual restore point that was created or initiated by the user so you would just select one of them from the list. I would generally recommend the newest or newer one that is available to select from. And then you would select next and then it would be a pretty automated process from there. However, if that does not work for you and you do the system restore and does not achieve the results you're looking for, like I said, that's one method. We're going to cancel out of here. And let's say you got back into this troubleshooting utility, the same methods that we used to get into it the first time. So you restart your computer and everything, you hold down the shift key, you get back to the choose an option screen. Again, troubleshoot. Now we're gonna go into advanced options again. Now we have further options here. If you had any system image recovery saved to a CD or DVD, which I'm noticing increasingly people aren't, don't even have optical drives on their computers anymore, you could always select system image recovery and if you had a CD or DVD you could back up and restore your computer from it. So that would be one option. Another one would be to go back to a previous version of the Windows 10 operating system and you're more than welcome to explore one as well. And you also have the startup repair utility which I am going to go into as well. So this would fix problems that are keeping Windows from loading. So let's say I select startup repair here. Now this is a pretty good tool. It's probably one of the more comprehensive ones you can get into without too much in the way of commands or executing different programs or applications. So in my event that Star Prepare couldn't repair your PC, in your case, it very likely could be different. I'm just putting it out there. That's just another method of this whole bunch of methods that I'm showing you guys in this video. So I'm gonna go underneath advanced options again. Underneath choose an option again, troubleshoot, advanced options. 
So we've briefly gone into system restore. We've done start or prepare. Uh, you can always go back to a previous version of the operating system. That's always a viable option as well. If you had any command prompt lines, like if your master boot record was having an issue or you were getting any specific error codes, I'd recommend going on to YouTube or any site or perhaps even my channel. I cover a lot of different error codes and maybe check out and see if I end up going through a command prompt method and this would be more direct and specified for your specific issue. So that could definitely be good. I'm not really going into that for this video because it's really too specific for this kind of issue because I'm really covering just about every issue you could have in this tutorial so I hope you guys can understand where I'm coming from and again you can go under startup settings this would allow you to get into safe mode if you chose to do so and the final option we would actually have to go back using this back arrow key or back arrow circle up here would be to reset this PC which would let you choose to keep or remove personal files and then reinstall Windows mine as well let's just left click on it so I can show you guys what it's going to look like so for choose an option, this is where I'm pretty much going to end this video. You'll have the two options to keep my files, which will remove apps and settings, but keep your personal files, and remove everything, which will remove all personal files, apps, and settings. Now, I would highly recommend if you're able to get into Windows that you do back up any files or documents, even if you select to keep my files, because you never know with this kind of process, there's always a small percentage of people that it does not work out for. So I just want to put that out there. It always is advised to have a backup copy of your important files before you proceed with any of these methods. But I would recommend trying to keep your files as your first resort here because you can always go back in later if that didn't work and then remove everything. But that's definitely much more of a hassle and more of a last resort. Basically, it's just a clean reformatting of your Windows operating system. So this should definitely work um, if all the other methods fail but what your definition of work might be might be different than somebody else's so I personally would rather try and keep and preserve as much of the Windows operating system as possible before we just do a clean swipe and remove everything so just want to put that out there but I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out give you guys some ideas about different utilities you can run again this does not require any external media now if you're not able to get into this menu you're more than welcome to download the Windows 10 Media Creation Utility and load the Windows 10 ISO file onto a USB or CD or DVD if you have a DVD optical drive or slot. And you could boot your computer off of that and access advanced options through that. So even if you're unable to get into Windows, you can still pretty much use these same utilities that I'm going through in this video. It just would be a little bit of a different process to get it set up. And I have made tutorials like that in the past of how to burn Windows 10 ISO to a CD or DVD. And then when you're going through the process of installing Windows 10, you click on the Install Now button, fill in the keyboard input information and everything. And then there would be an option on the bottom left corner of one of the first screens that comes up to repair your computer. It would launch this menu. So I'm just going to put that out there in case you guys were maybe not aware of that. But I do hope this brief video was able to help you guys out, like I said. And as always, thank you for watching, and I hope to catch you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.